It's time for another super exciting video, because my iPhone 8 Plus just got updated to the latest iOS 13.5, which means I need to re-jailbreak it and I'm taking you guys along for the ride. So just before we begin this video, I'm going to tell you guys the new stats, because a lot of you want to hear these. You guys are just absolutely amazing. The number of people watching these videos that are now subscribed is all the way up to 13.9%, so if you guys like this video and you're part of that 86.1% of people that aren't yet subscribed, I post tech videos daily and VR videos on Mondays and Fridays. So if that floats your boat, make sure to slam that subscribe button with your forehead, ding that notification bell, become part of the 360p gang, follow me on my social media here and here because I want to hear what you guys want to see, follow us on Discord, join us on Reddit, and let's move on to the video. So why might you want to jailbreak your phone? I'm going to give you a very short explanation of what jailbreaking is. What jailbreaking is, is, is it is the equivalent to rooting on your Android device, basically giving you full access over your iPhone. You can even access the system's root partition, which is really cool in case you want to change a few things in there, but it allows you to customize your phone to your liking and not the way Apple wanted it, which means you can change the way your icons look, means you can add widgets, change your home screen, add all sorts of crazy tweaks and customizations and make your phone work the way you want it and not the way Apple wants it. So that everything is where you want it and not where it's supposed to be. And this is why I love jailbreaking, because if you watched my previous video with Apple versus Android, I hate unjailbroken iPhones because I don't like the fact that I can't change where things are and I can't and customize it to my liking, which is why I jailbreak every iPhone I own. So if you want to customize your phone pretty much without limits using Cydia tweaks and repos, you can follow this short tutorial and in the next video I will show you my favorite tweaks and my favorite repos that you can add to Cydia and make your phone look freaking amazing. Nowadays, jailbreaking has gotten much easier than it used to be. Currently, there's actually two ways you could install the Uncover Jailbreak. You could either sideload the IPSW yourself using Cydia Impactor, or you could use the method that we are actually going to be using today. We are going to install it through the Alt Store, just because I find this method is less known, and I want to show you guys in case Cydia Impactor doesn't work for you. Cydia Impactor is pretty simple to use in case you did want to do that. You go onto the Uncover website, you download the IPSW, from there and you launch the Cydia Impactor app on your Windows or Mac computer. From there you connect your phone to your computer and you install the IPSW. Now this will also require you to sign into your Apple ID account just like the Alt Store will. So either way, if you feel bad about signing in with your Apple account, I would say create yourself an Alt. See what I did there? Now this jailbreak supports all iOS versions from iOS 11 through to iOS 13.5, which means it'll probably support most of your devices. But again, today we are going to be doing it on my iPhone 8 Plus since this is my main device and it was jailbroken, so now I need to re-jailbreak it. So this iPhone actually has quite a story behind it, as you can probably tell by the sticker here on the back. So if you guys are interested on hearing that story, let me know down in the comment section below and I will make sure to tell you guys this story. So for this, you will be needing a Windows computer or a Mac computer because we will be using a software called the Alt Store, which means you need to run the Alt server on your computer just to get the app running on your iPhone. We will be using the Unclover app for jailbreaking this iPhone 8 Plus. And once the app is on it, you won't need to run the server again, but you do need to run it at least once to be able to install the app. So without further ado, let's jump right into the video. Let's not wait along. So you guys will want to go onto this website on your computer. I will have it down in the description below and down download alt server for either macOS or Windows. I'm using Windows, so that's what I'm going to download it for. You want to open up alt store installer, drag it to some safe place. I'm going to drag it onto my desktop, double click and install it. Once it is installed, you will want to launch it, allow access, and you have to let it download the latest version of iTunes from Apple and not from the Microsoft store. So you will need to install iTunes if you don't have it installed yet. I don't because I was personally using 3U tools instead of Apple's iTunes, but hey, look, we can install it. Now, when you open iTunes and connect your phone, you will get this, install iCloud for Windows. You do want to click download and install iCloud for Windows, and then you will need to click down here. Then it'll give you a link to the iCloud setup.exe and not from the Microsoft Store. This is very important because Alt Server will not work with the version from the Microsoft Store. So once you have iTunes installed, you want to connect your phone just like this. You want to agree and you basically want to sync your device with iTunes. So you basically accept all the prompts that show up on your phone, wait for iTunes to show the little icon of your phone here. You want to go into here, into your little phone, scroll down, sync with this phone through Wi-Fi, click apply, click done. 
Okay, so then you finally want to launch alt server and direct it to the folder it's asking you to direct it to. So that's exactly what I am going to do. Boom. Then you want to go down here to your bottom right, select alt store, click install alt store and install it on your phone. Then you want to put in your Apple ID and password. Now, some of you may not be comfortable with using your official Apple ID here. I couldn't care less because I'm not a big Apple user. So I'm just going to give them my real Apple ID. I don't care. But if you do care, you might want to use a burner account or just create a secondary account just for this. Well, isn't this going to be fun? Me trying to guess my Apple ID. Okay, perfect. So then if you have two-step verification, that's what it's going to ask you for. So I'm going to allow, and I'm going to put in the code it's giving me. And now it should say installing alt store to your iPhone. So I'm going to wait for that to finish. I'm going to wait for it to pretty much just appear on this phone. I can see that it has in fact appeared. So now I can just disconnect the phone from the computer. So now let's move on to Mac OS X because I am aware that not all of you have Windows. So I'm going to show you both ways because I have a Hackintosh here, which I made a video about right here. So if you guys are interested in that, make sure to check that out. So if you guys are on Mac OS X, you will need to go onto the same alt store website that we went onto in Windows. But of course, this time you are going to click Mac OS X. You're going to let the alt server download. And once it is downloaded, you just want to open it. And now it's going to tell you the alt server is running. As you can see right up here, you can click on install mail plugin, click install, put in your password, mail plugin installed. Please restart mail and enable alt plugin in mail's preferences. Mail must be running when installing or refreshing apps with alt server. So then you want to launch your mail, go to mail preferences. You want to click manage plugins and enable the alt plugin. Apply and restart your mail app. Okay, cool. And now the process is the same as it was in Windows. You want to connect your iPhone, click up here, click install alt server on your iPhone, give it your Apple ID, click install, but I won't be doing that because I already have it installed. And it's that simple. Of course, you will need to have mail running in the background always, as it told you, when you want to reinstall these apps using Mac OS X. And what you want to do now is you want to launch Alt Store. It's going to say untrusted developer. So you want to go into settings, general, device management, developer app, and trust. And now it will actually allow you to open Alt Store. Click allow. Now, let me make sure to tell you, you do need to have Alt Server running in the background on your computer to be able to install this. So make sure you still have Alt Server running while you're installing the Uncover jailbreak through Alt Store. So then you want to open up the Uncover website in your Safari app. And down here, you want to click open in Alt Store. And then it's going to ask you, do you want to open an Alt Store? And you want to click yes. As you can see here, Alt Store is going to load in the uncover jailbreak just like that and it's going to ask you to sign in with your apple id again i will give it my apple id because i don't care and i want to click got it and now it should download the uncover jailbreak so i'm gonna wait I'm gonna continue waiting and there we go i just saw it appear right there so as you can see it's been side loaded so you can click the home button and you can launch the uncover jailbreak then right here what you will see is you will see the main screen of the uncover jailbreak and you will see the big button that says jailbreak you just want to hit that and boom ads really in a jailbreak it says jailbreak completed the system needs to reboot so i'm going to click ok it's now going to reboot my iPhone and hopefully once it turns back on, we will see that it's jailbroken. So the phone is now back on and it seems that nothing has happened. Haha, -ha, got you there. This is a semi untethered jailbreak. What that means is it means every time you restart your phone, you will need to relaunch the uncover app right here and click jailbreak. Now, when you click jailbreak, it'll start the exploit. Basically what's happening is the jailbroken system is actually still there every time you reboot your phone, but it's underneath the base system. So the official system that Apple gave you, all you have to do is you just have to dig it out. Jailbreak complete. No error occurred. The device will now reboot into the jailbroken state. So here we go. And boom, as you can see now, you have Cydia on your iPhone running iOS 13.5. And you can open up Cydia now and download all your favorite tweaks. Now, unless you were paying for an Apple developer account, which I doubt any of us are, I think you may have noticed that next to the apps in the alt store, it says seven days. That is because basically what we are doing to install these apps is we are pretending that they are apps that we created because Apple allows developers to install their own apps 
apps onto the iPhone without using the App Store, and that's basically what we've done here. But the thing is, these apps will require us to re-sign them every seven days, which means that you will need to run the alt server and re-sign these apps every seven days. If you're on Windows and you have the server running in the background, the alt store will attempt to re-sign them before the time runs out. But if you're on Mac OS X, that's going to be a little bit more of a pain, especially since you need to run that mail app. So in the next video where I show you guys the tweaks, I will also show you a super handy way to re-sign apps straight from your iPhone. So guys, that is going to be it for today's video. You now have a jailbroken iPhone on iOS 13.5. I really hope this video helped you out. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below. I will do my best to answer all of them. I'm super excited for the next video where I show you guys my favorite tweaks and the tweaks I use daily because I think there's quite a few of them and I think you might like a lot of them because they really change the way your phone looks and if you are a power user like me, they can really help you out. So make sure to stay tuned for that. Once again, guys, if you are part of that 86.1% of people that aren't yet subscribed, we are a constantly growing community and we're trying to get to 10k. So if you like tech videos, make sure to subscribe. I post videos daily. Make sure to follow me on my social media here and here because that's where I keep in contact with you guys. Join us on Discord where we have a constantly growing community and we talk about literally anything. Join us on Reddit where there's spicy memes and I have a great laugh looking at them. And when there's enough people posting things on Reddit, I will start making videos on it so that we can all have a great laugh. So make sure to join us there. So once again, guys, if you like the video and you want to be notified of future videos, make sure to slam that subscribe button, ding my bell, and see you again in the next one. Peace.